Hello, I'm Jim Hoffman, and I'm here to summarize the work we report in a study entitled A Research Review of Literacy Tutoring and Literacy Mentoring in Initial Teacher Preparation Toward Practices That Can Transform Teaching. We drew, as did all of the studies in the research reports in this special issue, on the site ITEL database housed at the University of Texas at Austin. The site ITEL database has been constructed to include all research reports published in refereed journals that focus on initial teacher preparation and literacy. Our general interests in literacy teacher preparation are centered on field experiences that complement academic work. We conducted a comprehensive review of the studies included in this database that address the uses of tutoring and mentoring in literacy teacher preparation as a particular kind of field experience distinct from placements in classrooms. Our goal was to reveal the qualities of tutoring and mentoring experiences that were positively associated with teacher preparation. We situated the focus on tutoring and mentoring as historically growing out of two lines of work in the 1960s. The first line of work was tied to the practicum offered in reading clinics attending to reading difficulties. And the second line of work was tied to the movement in the 1960s of teacher preparation from the university classroom into field-based settings. We identified and examined 61 studies that met our inclusion criteria. Our analysis of these studies focused on the specific qualities of tutorials and mentoring experiences, the learning and growth of the pre-service teachers, and the mediating factors that seem to contribute to pre-service teacher growth. There are several important findings we identified across these studies. First, design features matter, but there's no single model for tutorials or mentoring experiences that works best across all contexts. In fact, some of the most interesting studies were not looking at just one experience, but at multiple experiences, simultaneous and sequential, in the program that built on each other. Others were looking at models of working together that did not look at all to the typically imagine one tutor, one child model for tutoring programs that are tightly focused on just skill development. Instead, we are seeing such things as co-teaching, small groups, as an innovative model situated to teacher preparation. Second, while some of the tutoring and mentoring experiences seem to be designed to get pre-service teachers to take up traditional literacy teaching, there are a number of studies that were exploring the potential for these experiences to support, to support transformative teaching practices. We are thinking here of practices that might not be seen or experienced in traditional classrooms, such as inquiry or multimodal forms of reading and writing. Third, we argue in closing the review for a move away from tutoring as a term to describe these experiences, with all the connotations of deficits and remedial teaching associated with this term, and recommend a move toward mentoring that emphasizes the relational side of this work and the attention to co-learning and co-teaching. The hybrid or third spaces of mentoring can become the essential bridge to transformational teaching that disrupts the traditional and creates spaces for the innovative practices of the future. <laughs>